G'day guys, welcome back to part two. Uh, we're going to go for, for broke with this, this is pretty much everything that we haven't tried yet. Well, we've tried the crackers but we're going to need them for the, the entrees as well. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what's left, so we'll kind of, kind of consider this a lunch and dinner combined. Um, before I start, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all of those who, uh, you know, have, have conveyed your well wishes in the comments section. Uh, that's been great to see. So yeah, thanks very much. It's a it's a nice warm community that we've got here. It's pretty cool. So just to quickly recap on what we have left, we have our pork pate, tuna salad entree, our chocolate. It's either a drink or a dessert, I can't figure it out, but uh, I guess we will soon. We've got our heater, our portable stove. We have our pork, cheese and potato entree. Crackers to go with that. We've got the soup, isotonic sports drink, uh, orange fruit bar, our chocolate, which is, as we looked at last time, Ever so slightly squished. We've got our fruit nougat, and we might as well make up a, a cuppa while we're at it. So let's get the show on the road. Now the crackers we've already seen, so magic. So let's have a look at the pate, wild boar pork pate, as far as I know. Here we go, wow. looking for all the world like cat food, but that's pate, right? It smells, uh, will feel like cat food too. No, I tell a lie, it smells better than that. <laughs> okay, it's fairly firm. We've got that sort of gelatinous, fatty note to it. I think that will go quite nicely on the salted version of the crackers here. If I can get it to stay on. Yeah, it's not really the easiest thing to spread. There we go. We'll have a look at this fruit bar, Pate de Fruits de Provence. I did do a translate on that, but it didn't come back as anything uh, useful. There we go. Mmm, okay. So it is kind of like a fruit jelly, but it's, uh, it's quite, th quite dense. Yeah, quite dense. Uh, covered in sugar. It looks like it'll be tasty. What does it smell like? Yeah, it doesn't smell of much, just like sugar. Now the chocolate's going to be an interesting one because if you remember from the last video, you know, it's like the chocolate's got out somehow. Now whether this happened when it was with tons of other bars just like it or whether it's actually come from this bar itself. I can't see any obvious rips or tears or anything like that so I'm kind of assuming that it was just you know, happened. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> come to me these ones <laughs> that's not too bad though um, you know I've eaten a lot worse yeah it's quite quite oxidized but nothing major and 
lastly for the solid food, we've got our fruit nougat. Quite like nougat, so looking forward to this. Yep, looks good. Nice big bits of fruit in there. Yeah, it smells perfect. Yep, just what you want to see. Nice and nice and fluffy inside. No problems there. Well, that's pretty much it for the actual solid food. So let's start making up some of the the drinks and our soup here. Okay, it doesn't actually... Unless I'm missing it, it doesn't actually tell you how much water to add, but I'm just going to go the trusty mug. Okay, there we go. This looks like a normal instant powdered soup. Yep, smells just as you'd expect. There we go. There's quite a few solid bits and pieces in there, so it should be a fairly hearty soup. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, look at that. Almost like an alphabet soup. <laughs> now we'll put a cupper on. Good old Lipton's tea. Oops. Let that brew away. Now for this one here, because I'm not 100% sure whether this is uh, like a, just a normal cocoa drink or whether it's actually supposed to be some kind of dessert. Um, so with that in mind, I'm gonna chuck it in a mug and we'll go for cold water. So we'll see, it's either gonna thicken up, turn it into a dessert, or we're gonna have some Basically chocolate milk, I think. There you go, it's pretty pretty fine. So we'll hit that with a bit of cold. Give it a stir up. Now I'm pretty sure I have probably got this wrong. It's uh, it's not really incorporating into the water as much as I'd like. It's just maintaining this kind of thick skin at the top. So I don't know. We'll see. I perhaps have done a little bit more translation on the, uh, the packet, but uh, oh well. <laughs> we live and learn, don't we? This is turning into a bit of a drinks fest. But uh, let's go with this one. This one makes quite a lot, 500 mils worth, this uh, isotonic sports drink. That smells nice. It smells like candy floss actually, or some might say cotton candy. neat purple colour. So we've got our drinks and everything are brewing. Now must be about time to get noisy. Time for the heat. Got our fuel tabs. Six of them. It's a nice touch. Eiffel Tower. Oh, cool. Got our can holder. Got 
black bag for the rubbish, I can assume. The heater and water purification tabs. Oh, we won't be needing those today. So, we just need to fold up the edges of this one, which is going to be disturbingly similar to the ha Oh, okay, now this one's different. You can see the little legs? So the, uh, the goofy way that I folded up the Polish ration heater uh, made it so it just had a flat bottom and hence the... <laughs> Uh-oh. That's pretty neat, it's got some little standoffs. Check in a fuel tab. The interesting thing here is that we, we obviously have, uh, what was it, potatoes, pork, and cheese, I believe. But we've got a tuna salad. So I'm thinking we're probably only need to heat this one. There we go. Okay. Let's have a sniff. Mmm. It smells nice. Um kind of smells like gravy. You know, it smells very savoury. What more can I say? Oh, we've done that can. It'll be rude not to have a peek in this one as well. Oh, okay. I'm wondering whether this would be better heated up. Yeah, it smells very tunery. Oh, well, I think we'll Let's have a quick nibble of this actually. See what it's like cold. I see we've got some potato and there's quite a lot going on in here. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's going to taste nicer with a bit of uh, heat to it. So it tastes actually really good um, cold. Yeah. So if that little Sneak advanced taste as anything to go by, we're in for a treat. Alright, without further ado. There we go, we're lit. Let the cooking commence. Oh, the heating, I should say. Now, while that's doing its thing, Let's have a sample of uh, some of the other things we've got. Pate first up. Try it without the cracker and with. Wow. That's super nice. I'm not really a pate person, but um, yeah, I could definitely get down with that. Can only get better on the crackers. These are the salty crackers. Mm. That pate has got a great flavour to it. Um, it's nice and smooth, creamy, uh, meaty tasting. Yeah, pretty cool. Give our new guy a shot. Tastes as good and as fresh as any new guy that um, I've ever had. Brilliant, the nice big chunks of uh, fruit really give it a kick. Top notch. Now we have our fruit bar, fruit kind of jelly bar. Mm, that's addictive. It tastes a lot like those sugared um, fruit jubes that you buy. Uh, you know, candy or sweets or however you like to say it. But yeah. Obviously there's going to be real fruit in there though, so that's a bonus. Now. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the chocolate. 
<laughs> All right, like I said, I've had worse. That doesn't really detract from the flavor in any way. It's a dark chocolate. It's still nice and tasty. Yeah, no problem with it. There you go, our can's going to town. That's just still on the first fuel tap. It's smelling good. And while the entree's carrying on and sizzling away in the background, let's try some of these uh, drinks and soups. Soup. Give it a quick stir. When we first put the water in, we were flooded with those little pasta O's. There we go. It's thickened up a bit. Mm. That's great. Nice chickeny flavour to it. Um, those carrots of, on the top are actually uh, there's, you know, decent chunks of them, you know, reconstituted very nicely. Definitely add to it. Try and fish out some of these little pasta thingies. There we go. Hmm, okay. Well, by now, I mean, I've had this sitting for quite a while. Those pasta or those have lost a lot of their texture. There's kind of like mush now, but I can imagine if I got onto that a bit sooner, it would have been great. All right, so here's our cocoa. I think if I put less water with this, it would have actually formed into a dessert. And I'm feeling like that's what's going to come out in the comments too. <laughs> anyway, give it a shot. Hmm, actually, I might retract what I just said. Unless you were supposed to put an insanely small amount of water with it, beneath that thick layer on the top, it's actually quite runny and weak. So, hmm. Oh well, it's still nice. No problems there. Tea. Yep, that's just normal tea. What can you say? Finally, for the drinks, we've got our isotonic drink. Cheers. That's got an interesting flavour to it. It definitely tastes like it's more about um, doing the business and fueling your body or you know, replacing electrolytes and, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, I think it's actually sugar free as well. You certainly can't taste much sweet going on in there. It's pleasant though. It's uh, very subtle. It's much more subtle than you know what you'd um, get from a Powerade or a Gatorade. Well, we're blowing through our first fuel tab there with this one. So let's whip it off in with another tab, and here we go again. This time with the tuna. Now the tuna I could have eaten cold, no problem, but we may as well use these heaters while we've got them, right? You can hear the tuna salad bubbling away in the background. Now these little can holders, by the way, are uh, bloody brilliant. Except now, I wish that I had opened this can a little bit more before it got so hot. Fish it out there. Oh wow, big chunks of meat come out. Potato, so this was pork, potato, and cheese, I believe. There's a lot of it. It's up to a good temperature too, you can see all that steam coming off. Get some potato. Mm. Oh wow. That's good. Um, the potatoes are cooked perfectly. Still a nice little bite to them. 
uh, this sauce that they're in is a little hard to describe. It just tastes like kind of a you know a hearty thick kind of meat stock. Let's try some of the pork there. Oh, melt in your mouth. Ah, oh, okay, right. That gravy. Um, remember, there's cheese in here, so that's there's a definite cheese flavour now that I now that I'm kind of looking for it, which is just a combination made in heaven. This, you know, who would who would do that normally? Pork, potatoes, and cheese. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's common, but not to me. But I love it. Uh -oh, tuna is coming along nicely. Now, a lot of you are probably going to cringe with what I'm about to do. Just kidding. A slight failure of our can holder. Looks amazing. Big proper chunks of um, veggies, potatoes in there, and uh, big huge chunks of tuna as well. I didn't exactly make that easy for myself, did I? There we go. Got a nice heat through it. We've got some tuna, some carrots, some potatoes, and some corn all in there. Mm. Definitely, definitely better warmed through. Um, and that was good enough when it was uh, cold. So this is really tasty. Well guys, that has been the French 24 hour RCIR ration. And this was sort of our lunch and dinner version of that. Um, I think we've got a new favourite here. You can't fault the food and uh, uh, I think G. Schultz when he was doing his he said um, you know it's not just good food for for ration that's actually really good food full stop. So and that's what it is it's, it's absolutely brilliant. So I'm pretty sure the boss is gonna love this so thanks heaps for watching we'll catch you on the next bit and um, I'll hand it over. Hey sweetie, we've got some more French soldiers. Ah, 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 yummy, 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 yummy. You haven't even tried it yet and you're not that starving. <laughs> That's tuna, tuna and potato. What do you think? Yummy. Okay, that one's the pork. Pork and cheese and potato. Which one's your favourite? Both. Oh, which one? Pick one. You like them both? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'd be hard pressed to, to decide. Do you know what pate is? Did he go, sweetheart? What do you think of the pate? Yummy. You like the pate? Okay, you're an adventurous four-year-old, aren't you? Yeah, you know the crack. Yeah, you know the crackers. That's soup. Yummy. That's the fruit bar. <laughs> it's chewy that one, isn't it? Is it good? That's nougat.
What are you doing? Like a chocolate sandwich. Why is it pink? What do you think of the French fashion? Yummy! <laughs> yep, yeah, me too. Thanks, Michael, Sydney, and Axel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Crystal.